RHS Precalculus presents... Porto Poppet Pals, the math edition. How to analyze a sign graph. Here is a general sign graph equation. We will be elaborating on this throughout the video. My name is Professor Dumbledore. Welcome to Porto Poppet Pals, the math edition. I'm Hermione. I like to learn. I'm Harry. I like magic. I like them. I'm Ron, and I like you, Harry. Oh, oh awkward. awkward! And I'm Professor Snape. Today, oh, today, Hermione and Professor Dumbledore are going to teach us how to read a sign curve. Yay! Yay! First, we're going to show how to read a vertical shift in a sign curve. For example, y equals 1 plus sine x represents an upward shift of one unit, as shown in the graph here. So, if you add a number to sine x, the graph move, moves up the y-axis? Right, though. Here's the original y equals sine x, and here's the y equals 1 plus sine x. Here's a twist to that equation. When you subtract a number from sine x instead of adding, for example, y equals sine x minus 1, what happens? The graph moves down the y-axis. Yes, sir, George. Professor Dumbledore, what's the next question? I'm really starting to love math. A lot more than potions, class. Don't push it, Potter. Oh, well, of course, my dear boy. Let us see the next equation. Y is equal to 2 sine x. Now we are no longer adding to or subtracting from sine x. We are multiplying it by a number. It stretches vertically in this example. I'm rather confused. Let's take a look at the graph, Ronnie. Here is a regular y is equal to sine x. And this is y is equal to 2 sine x. See that? It stretches vertically. Oh, I see now. So the graph can get taller. Can graph get skinner? That's right, Ron. Let's take a look at y equals sine 2x. Here's y equals sine x. Oh, where did I put it? There we go. As you can see, y equals sine 2x makes the graph two times thinner. Wowzers, that's amazing. Oh, there's even more amazingness to come. Let's look at y is equal to sine x minus pi. If you are subtracting something from x, then the entire graph moves along the x-axis in that interval. Because it is x minus pi, the graph will move pi units to the right. If it was plus pi, then it would move pi units to the left. Eureka! It all makes sense. Huh, that it does, Severus. That it does. <gasps> Math is easy. One, two, three. Super easy, cheesy if you follow me. Let's sing a song about reading a graph. Then it won't be trouble, you'll be having it math. You'll go up if you add two sine. And if you subtract, you'll go down the y line. If you add two x, then you'll be just fine. Solo, just move your graph along the x line. Don't forget multiplying a number of times. But have no fear, we're still so blind. It just gets thinner like a vine. And now we're all done with the graphs of mine. Hold up, guys. We forgot to verse. Y equals 2 sine x gets tall. If you remember, it's easy for all. If you're confused, you can make a call. To who? To who? To the smart kid down the hall. The end!